Tanker with a hazardous chemical on board overturned on I-85 near exit 87. That's Cherokee County. It happened at about 6 in the morning. According to environmental technicians on the scene, the chemicals did not leak out of the tanker. But as 7 News' Stephanie Borman joins us, she's been following it all day, and this has still been a major problem on I-85. I'm about a mile and a half from where the tanker actually overturned, which is where they set up the perimeter to allow hazmat teams to safely transfer the chemicals from the overturned tanker into another tanker. Highway Patrol shut down Interstate 85 for nine miles from exit 83 to exit 92 for most of Friday after a tanker overturned near exit 87. Environmental technicians tell 7 News the tanker was carrying around 9,000 gallons of a chemical known as toluene. Is it dangerous? Yes, it's, I mean, it's a toxic chemical. According to the CDC, toluene is a clear, colorless liquid commonly used as a solvent. It's used to make gasoline and can be found in nail polish, paint, and paint thinners. CDC studies show exposure to the chemical can cause serious harm to the nervous system. As far as you know, though, it hasn't, like, leaked into the... No, as far as I know, it hasn't. According to DOT, Highway Patrol closed the interstate and rerouted traffic to allow hazmat crews plenty of room to work. We're going to transfer it from the tanker that's flipped over to a tanker, you know, it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. And then we'll go about flipping it over. Just in case if you started flipping it over now, you know, it could rupture and you got 9,000 gallons sitting on the side of the interstate now. Highway Patrol is still investigating. At this time, they don't know what actually caused that tanker to overturn. We also don't know the condition of the driver or if charges will be filed. Reporting in Cherokee County, Stephanie Borman, 7 News. Most important for those of you watching now, I-85 still closed down by that cleanup. In fact, we're told the transferring this amount of chemicals from one tanker to the other usually takes between two and four hours.